What's the benefit is you can wand catalyst over 200 staff? Uh, crit, basically. So, what's the advantage? Uh, the unread scroll is the advantage. The unread scroll over here, it says plus six. Well, it goes from two to six, but you would never use one that has two on it. It says plus six spell critical strike chance. And plus six means that it's additive critical strike chance. So every every ability in the game has a base critical strike chance of five. And then if you have five crit at the base, if you have a 100% increased critical strike chance, you go from five to 10. Because the 100% increase doubles it. Now, if you have a plus, let's call it a plus five instead of a plus six, just to make math easier. Easier. If you have a plus five base spell critical strike chance implicit on the top there. If you have that, that brings you from five to 10. And then if you have a 100% increased critical strike chance, you're going from 10 to 20 critical strike chance. So going from five to 10, not great. Going from 10 to 20, much more impactful. Pair that with any skills that are like maybe Lightning Blast, for example. Lightning Blast has this node here. It says base critical strike chance plus one per point. So it would go to five and then plus one times three goes to eight. And then eight plus six is 14. And then if you have 14 plus 100% increased critical strike chance would double 14 to 28. So that base critical strike chance is really impactful. That's why. If you're trying to play a spell that doesn't have base crit, take Static Orb, for example. None of the nodes here have base crit on it. You have a bunch of crit multi down here. This is 25 crit multi per point, and there's some crit multi damage over time scaling up here. But there's no base crit here, right? So Static Orb is no base crit. And not only that, but as a mage and as a Sork, you get access to nodes like this that say increased critical strike chance an increased critical strike chance, an increased critical strike chance. There's a lot of increased critical strike chance, but increased critical strike chance when your base crit is five, ain't great. Now, increased critical strike chance when your base crit is five plus six equals 11 is substantially better. So if you're trying to play crit, if you're trying to scale crit multi, on a skill that doesn't have base crit scaling in its skill tree, then using a catalyst is hugely beneficial. There's a couple other ways to get base crit. Some unique items give you base crit. That's about it. So, so yeah, there's, there's some other uniques out there, but generally speaking for spells, if you're trying to be any kind of crit build, You'd really like to have the uh, the offhand catalyst thing. So that's the big advantage of it. On the flip side, you might try to ask yourself the other question. What's the advantage of using a staff? So this is all regardless of unique items. Because if you want to use a unique, you just use unique. So why would you use a staff, right? Let's say the de facto is to use a wand and a, and a catalyst. Why would you want to use a staff instead? Because a wand and a catalyst gives you two prefixes, two suffixes. Sorry. A wand and a catalyst give you four prefixes and four suffixes. Including some extra resistance if you want to, you know, gear up your character easier with the catalyst suffix. On the other hand, if you're using a staff, you only get two prefixes and you only get two suffixes. So what's the advantage of using a staff? Well, look at the implicit. The advantage of using a staff is that you get a bunch of flat damage. So, I guess here's the question. The skill that you're trying to play, does it scale well with base damage? Does it have 400% effectiveness of added damage? Does it have 50% effectiveness, which would be really bad. Maybe it only has 50% effectiveness of added damage. Do you get flat damage from other places? So asking yourself questions like that might make it easier to understand why you might want to go 
staff, or my, why you might want to use a catalyst, or hell, maybe even why you might be able to get away with using a shield. I played a character recently that was uh, that was Smite. I was playing a Smite hammered in, and uh, Smite it has a base crit of five because everything in the game is a base crit of five, but it also has like plus nine base crit built into the skill tree so nine plus five is 14 without using a catalyst you have 14 base crit which is a lot of base crit so on that character i tried using a bastion of honor because i wanted some extra defense so i could use a catalyst to bring my base crit from 14 to 20 which is a huge base crit i could do that but I didn't think it was necessary, so I used a shield instead. This one. 